So here we have the Nissan Juke on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car you'll notice there are no uh, reversing sensors, that's because this car's got a reversing camera. We have plenty of boot space though, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, and then this tray section lifts and removes should you need even more space. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. Now that we've done a full circle of the car though, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before I climb in, I think that's where I've seen the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard as well. And also it's worth pointing out that the driver's seat has got this Bose personal speaker uh, built into the headrest as well. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the top, you can see the total miles of this car, which are 13,911. We've also got the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges in that section as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we've got stereo controls and the ability to answer and end phone calls. And on the right-hand side, we have both cruise control and speed limiter. Over in the center here, it's all touch screen is where you find your radio. You can see this car's got DAB radio. We also have FM, and AM as well. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that via the CD player, the auxiliary or USB inputs, and you can also stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. So once you pair your phone, not only will you be able to make and receive phone calls, but you can also listen to your music as well. This car's also got satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works on both our website and our Facebook page. And I mentioned that it had a reverse camera. You can see that there. It's a full color camera with these guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that you see on the screen and you can see the rear bumper just here so you really can get close to the object without the need for parking sensors. Working our way down we have the climate control so you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed, you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings that button turns the air conditioning on and off again of course. If you push this one in it puts it onto auto and the car will now take control of the fan speed to maintain 16 and a half degrees. You can override that whenever you wish to by readjusting the fans yourself. This screen also doubles up as the driver mode screen. So you press this button and it all changes as you can see. You can now put the car in normal, sport and eco. Whatever mode you put it in, you're affecting the engine, the steering and the climate control for the car. Under that section, we have the auxiliary and USB inputs. There's a 12 volt charging socket underneath this cap just here, so you can charge your phone, for example. And then we have a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.